In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom V-Ray library in SketchUp. Let's go. So to start off, you can open your V-Ray Asset Editor and then click on Materials here. So you can see that these are the existing materials that come from Simele, which is a default 3D figure that ships with SketchUp 2021. So these are the materials of Simele. Now to check the material library in V-Ray, you need to click on this toggle button here. And then you can see the various materials here. I'm going to close my custom material library. So I'm going to right click and close. So this is the default library that comes with V-Ray. And this can be accessed if you have an active internet connection. Now if you want to use any of these materials, you would need to drag them into your materials list here. So for example, if I drag this here, you can see that it's added to our materials list here and it also adds it to the SketchUp materials. So if I click on the home button, you can see that it's been added here. Now if you want to apply this material, it's a pretty simple process. Just make a rectangle use the bucket tool and then apply the material or you can also select the face right click and click on apply to selection so these are the various materials that come with v-ray but what if you want to create your own custom material now say for example if i create a cool material here i'm going to rename this call this fabric yellow and let's say i add a sheen to this and also change the preview so i'm going to change this to fabric and I'm going to switch on advanced and then go to my sheen option here and then increase this to sort of create a fabric texture. It adds that fall off to your material. So it's pretty cool. I can also add some reflection if required and reduce the glossiness. So now I have a cool material, but I would like to use this material in the future projects as well. Now this is where having your own custom V-Ray library helps because you can use the same material in your future projects as well. So to load your custom material library, you need to click on the open folder here. And then you need to create sort of a folder structure. So you can see that I have created a main folder called V-Ray material library, under which I have the interior materials and the exterior materials. And under each of these main folders, I have subfolders for the different material categories. So you can see that I have bricks, CNC, countertops, fabric, and a whole lot more. The same goes for the exterior material library as well. Now to load this folder in, just click on the main folder, which is V-Ray Material Library. Do not enter these subfolders. So let's select the main folder and click on select folder. So now it would load those folders. So if I click on the drop down menu here, you can see that we have our two main subfolders. And then if I click on the drop down again, then we have our various materials. So these are the various material categories. Now if I open the folder for these subfolders, you can see this is our subfolder. Now if I open any of the subfolders, you can see that these are VR mat files. Now say for example, you want to add the new fabric material to a fabric subfolder here. So you can see that these are VR mat files and it also comes with the maps, which is saved into your folder structure. Now let's say for example, you want to add your own custom material to these folders and then generate the VR mat file. And then all you need to do is select the folder select the right category so you can see that fabric is selected and then i can simply drag this material to our material list here then it would show up at the bottom fabric yellow and it would also get populated here as a new vr mat file now let's say for example you make some changes to this material like for example changing the color making it slightly darker and you would like to replace this material then you can simply drag it again and now you get two options, whether you want to replace or keep both. I'm going to click on replace fabric texture. So now the texture changes. And now let's say, for example, I'm going to create a new project. Say so press no, and then I'm going to go to my asset editor. So you can see there's no material added. Now, if you want to create your own materials, you can open the material dialog box and then select the material and drag it in. So now it gets added to our material list here. And then we can add it to this project. Now, a last tip which I would give you is, let's say, for example, you want to create a fresh new category in your library. For example, in our interior material library, we can give a category called pillowcases. So you can't really create a new category here. So what you have to do is you have to open the folder structure of your library, go to interior material library, and then you need to create a new folder. So I'm going to right click and click on new folder. 
or you can press Control Shift N as well. And then I'm going to call this Pillow Covers, and then refresh by pressing F5. Then you can go back to your Asset Editor, and then you can select the main folder. Right click and click on Refresh, and now it would read the folders again. And then you can see that we have a Pillow Cover category. So in case you create any new material, so I'm going to duplicate this, call this light gray, change the color, and then add it in. So this is part of our pillow category as well. So that's how you create new categories in case you are wondering how. And last but not least, if you want to use any of these materials, simply select the category, select the material, and then drag it into your asset editor. Then it will be added here, and then you can apply it to any of your groups or components in SketchUp. So that's a quick tutorial into how you can create your own custom V-Day library. If you'd like access to my library, you can head to the link below and you'll get access to my library as well, which I update on a weekly basis. Also, if you'd like to create photorealistic renderings, do check out my premium SketchUp and V-Day courses, which I'm sure is going to help you out in your career and business. And last but not least, do not forget to like and subscribe. It goes a long way in keeping me motivated and producing good quality tutorials for you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.